Good day folks, another beautiful day in Southwest Trinidad. Today, we are going to do a little documentary on a tree known locally as Amon, but its correct name is Indian Amon. It goes by the scientific name Terminalia Katapa. Indian Amon is usually found along the coast and in close proximity to the beach. It is also planted as an ornamental tree. The nut from this dry Indian Amon is very tasty and nutritious. Actually, it contains protein, potassium, calcium, phosphorus, manganese, iron, zinc, copper, thiamine, and niacin. The leaves of this tree can be used to treat skin condition, open wounds, digestive problems, liver complaints, and even rheumatism. It is actually considered a hardware. It is strong, flexible, and fairly water resistant. Um, the fruit from this aman, you can have it. It is edible. Yeah. Yeah, it is quite edible and not too bad. And you can harvest the dry ones, like my boy Caleb here. Thumbs up. My boy Caleb here have some dry ones, so we're gonna crack them open and then have a, a look as as to what. They so we're walking over to a almond, a Indian almond tree. I, I think this is, might be one of the biggest almond tree I've, I have ever seen. Okay, we are under an Indian almond tree. I think it's one of the largest Indian almond tree I've ever seen. Alright, let's measure this tree and see how much it is, right? So we have the tape around the tree. This is a really huge tree, you know. Okay. Caleb, how much? How much is this tree? 15 feet 5 inches. I didn't hear you. Say it again. 15 feet 5 inches. Alright, let's check it out. So it's 15 feet 5 inches in circumference. Majestic tree. Look at Caleb next to that tree. There. Really huge tree. Survival situation. You will gather these almonds, and once you could get yourself a stone like this one, you could open these nuts. You just get the root of the tree, and you could probably just indent a little area right here. You place the almond in it, and you simply knock on them, and then what? You could open it, and you could get the nuts from it. Right? I'm gonna gather them in this in this year. I'm gonna gather them in this year. Yeah. Mm. Alright, so you see and you just remove the nut from it. This is the almond nut here. Keep your hands steady to it. Okay. So let's take a spoon. Sometimes it, it gets a little smushy but I mean, you could still harvest it. Yeah. Not all are good. Yeah. All right. So my boy Caleb here is gonna try them. Go ahead, Caleb. Try the almond. Tell me how it is. How it is? Yummy. Yummy. You like it? Mm -hmm. Have some more, have some more. So yes, people, in a survival situation, 
right? You want to be able to find food and keep yourself alive. Excellent source of protein there. This plant here is known locally as stinger nettle or white tud. You want to stay away from this plant when you're out in the woods as it pack a painful sting and it itches a whole lot and also gives an allergic reaction. The Spanish call it mala mujer which means bad woman. No offense to the ladies here. It releases an allergic toxin through the glass-like bristly hairs upon contact. Let's have a look. Okay folks, this is the effect of the white tart plant after I brush my hands against it. This is five minutes after. I mean the effects can be seen and felt. So you want to stay away from that mala mujer. <laughs> this vegetable shown here is known locally as jingi and this is a dry one here yeah this is a dry one here let's peel it off the uh, skin there and um the correct name is lofa sponge and um it's used for washing dishes as a scrubbing sponge with soap to exfoliate the skin it can also be used for unique painting textures the green ones are edible I've eaten it already it resembles a cucumber so actually it's edible when cooked <laughs> 